All right, what is going on guys? Today we are watching Overlord Season 4 Episode 5. In the last episode, uh, I missed, well, I, I've watched the last episode, but I missed it on the channel because I was away. Uh, but in that episode, we had the absolute irons flex uh, and the reasoning behind it, which was he wanted to kind of impress or, I mean, the better word for it is just flex um, on the Empire, show the adventurers uh, how strong he is, kind of pro people to want to move to the Sorcerer Kingdom. Very cool. He made quick work of the Warrior King, brought him back to life, and now he's apparently a subordinate, which is cool. Um, and yeah, the whole plan just seems to be going okay. I don't know how many people are going to move there. I think a lot of people were impressed by Ainz. They're probably quite terrified too, but we will see. Um, and then the, the part of the episode was also um, Goddamn King, whatever his name is, Gilgamesh, uh, wants to become a vassal state just out of pure fear, whatever a vassal state is. I don't know. Ainz definitely doesn't know. He's going with it. He's just going with the wind as he always does. And yeah, overall, a very good episode and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. So as always, guys, like the video if you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And let's go into this episode right now. Ooh, what is Demiurge up to? <laughs> I see, he just wants to get praised. Albedo knows that all too well. Oh, is that where he's gone? To the Dwarven Kingdom? Oh, because he's looking for the, the world item, isn't he? Bro, are these, what are these two doing to each other? Oh my god, he's already done it. Bro, how is, how is Ayn so lucky with how shit is working? It was a three-day visit. Ayn's got them to become a vassal state in like 10 minutes. I mean, that's probably what he was kind of going for, to be fair. He wants them to make their all kind of own decisions, so... Oh, the lizard men are here. Cool. A lizard man who knew about the Dwarven Kingdom. Oh, I wonder who it is. Oh, nice. That's what we know. That's what he wants, though. He wants them to question him. He wants their opinion and stuff. Is he asking him to sit on him? Oh, my freaking God. He wants to be sat on? Oh my god. Oh my god, he's actually sit on in him. I don't believe it. This guy. <laughs> the one who will ride me in the future. For the, the other, like, uh, players... The, uh, well, all Ainz's friends are freaking weirdos for making these characters. I like how Ainz would even need a bodyguard, that's funny. Are you planning on annihilating the kingdom? That's funny. The most powerful floor guardian of Nazarek. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she's asking too much. Just pay attention. Learn from Ainz. Oh, look at that. She had a little kid. <laughs> she had a lot of them. That's funny. Or the like the beasts they ride look so fucking epic. Dwarven Kingdom ain't gonna know what him. And this fucking brigade comes up. For them to actually teleport, do they need to have been there? I feel like they could make a lot of, a lot of quicker progress. Bro. Man just made a skyscraper hotel for the night. I wonder if he's just gonna leave that there in the morning. Like, yeah, anybody can live here now. I don't care. Bro, this shit is lavish as hell. <laughs> Jesus. 
So what does a vassal state mean? Just like a state that runs underneath the Sorcerer Kingdom? All the things he said. Really? Bro, that's a lot of work. Ainz <laughs> needs some magic or up a goddamn voice recorder or something. I like how she's giving her like really good advice. Shelty is like, I have no fucking clue what you mean. They have such freaky names. But I guess they're just like game attacks. Oh, it's like an underground city. Very cool. Looks very deserted. What the fuck? Where have they gone? Oh, there's like one dwarf here. <laughs> He's gone invisible. Oh, they move C. Interesting. Oh, he's never heard of it. Nice. Gondor Firebeard. Cool name. Can't he see that she's an elf? But I guess she's still a kid for an elf. Oh, he's scared shitless because a skeleton just showed up. I like how calm this situation is. I like this guy. I hope he yeah, stays a recurring character. Why exactly is uh, this guy here anyway, on his own, mining? Oh, that's convenient. Oh. So it takes a lot less time to enchant the weapons, but is there still a benefit to using runes? Oh, yeah. Cheap. Okay, makes sense. Just takes longer. This is cool, bro. Yeah, I definitely want this guy to stick around. It'd be awesome. Let's go, Ainz. This is awesome. If my soul alone is enough to satisfy you. Fucking love this dude already. He's cool. A hundred demi-human intruders. Interesting. Oh, so this is why nobody's here. Makes sense. Got them like some freaky Pokemon. I wonder if these things are going to be strong or not. Like up against Shaltier, surely not. Oh, they pop straight into that tunnel. Mass hold species. Wow. That was easy. Charm species. That's easy. The great clan lord Ryuro. A special separate troop. Shit, that means they're already on their way. Oh shit, dude. They've got to get there quick. Alright, so that was Overlord Season 4, Episode 5. Very cool little episode here. I like the uh, the trip into the Dwarven Kingdom that we got going on. Uh, we made Gondo Firebeard, uh, I believe his name is. Very sick. Very sick name. Very cool. Um, he seems like a really cool dwarf. I like this whole, hopefully him staying as a recurring character kind of situation. Um, I'm saying to him, "Will you? are you prepared to sell me your soul? Quote unquote. Not really sell your soul, just, you know, devote your life to me is what I'm interpreting that as. Um, yeah, really cool guy. And I, I like this, that we're expanding into so many different fields and different nations and stuff like that. It is truly kind of a slow, but steady world domination and not just kind of like a dictatorship in a way it's more like i scratch your back you scratch mine but 
I will lead you because I'm the most powerful kind of thing. You know, that's that's how I feel anyway. Um, yeah, really cool. And uh, it's going to be exciting to see the kind of full Dwarven Kingdom or hopefully what's left of it if these guys have not already started attacking. Yeah, anyway, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. And I hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have an interesting day and peace out.